It is Sunday, December 13th here in sunny Mesa, Thailand. Beautiful day today. And I'm on my way to my favorite lunch spot in uh, Mesa, Borderline. But I'm kind of flipping the script today on my visit to Borderline. I'm not going there for a delicious lunch, as I usually do. I'm going there for something connected with the collective side of their name. As a collective, they're involved in a lot of uh, community activities. And just this morning, I was on Facebook and I saw that they have a exhibit from local artists underway right now. It's funny, but I think of myself as having my ear to the ground at least a little bit when it comes to events in uh, Mesot, but I totally missed this. I had no idea that this exhibit was taking place. And I guess yesterday was the opening of the exhibit. So that would have been probably the better day to go. That was Saturday when all the artists were setting up and I think they had snacks and drinks for people who showed up, but I wasn't aware of it on Saturday. So I thought I would take a stroll there today on Sunday and uh, check out the exhibit. I don't know anything about this exhibit except for what I've already mentioned, that it is an exhibit of artwork by local Mesot artists. That's all I know. And I assume it is taking place in their gallery. The Borderline Collective has the tea garden where you have your meals and they also have a handicrafts shop, which is very nice. And then above the handicrafts shop, there is a small gallery up above. And I, uh, I imagine that's where the exhibit is taking place, but maybe it's large enough that it's spilled over into other parts of uh, Borderline. Find out when I get there. I've slowly developed walking habits here in Mesot because I find I have to avoid the worst of the dogs. And just before borderline, the absolute worst dogs hang out in this house just on the right with all these green bushes. And I'm usually thinking ahead to borderline or when I'm leaving borderline, I'm thinking of the lunch I just had. So I forget almost every time that these dogs live there. And Normally it isn't a huge problem because they're behind that gate that you see, that, uh, that fence there. And all they do is bark really loudly and scare me half to death. <laughs> but sometimes that little door is open. And if that door is open, and there's, usually, there's often a car parked in front. So I don't see that the door is open and that all the dogs are loose. And then they come up, come out like a, Mad Max Fury Road gang trying to tear me apart. But <laughs> after all that buildup, I don't even see a single dog there today. So I don't know where they're hanging out, but this is a danger zone. So I always cross over to the other side of the street. Now that I've avoided the gang of dogs, here I am at Borderline. And here is a sign on the outside for this Mesot artist group art exhibition so there's the opening it was saturday the 12th of december that was yesterday and i guess the exhibition is running from december 12th to december 19th and i haven't gone inside here with my camera for a long time but this is the the handicraft store As you can see, it's uh, quite nice. I won't give a tour of it today because I'm, I'm here for the art exhibit. And I'm assuming the art exhibit is upstairs. This, uh, these are the, this is the stairs leading to the second floor. And yeah, that looks like that's where the exhibition is taking place. So, kick off my uh, sandals and uh, head inside. Oh, let's 
see what information is on the sign here. Mesot Artist Group, and these are the names of the artists. I won't try to pronounce them. We have a John and a Greg, that I'm comfortable with. For all the others, I'm sure I would get it wrong. Hmm, there's actually quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thirteen uh, different artists. Okay. And here's sort of a aerial view of the handicraft store. And I think this is kind of a slogan for Borderline that you can see up there. A creative space for expression in exile. And that's kind of a nice summary of their philosophy. And if you wanted to uh, take the time to read that, you can get some of their uh, history. a very comfortable place to sit up here. I'm a big fan of comfortable chairs. These look amazing. I'm actually going to uh, try one out. Okay, let's uh, give this chair a try. I'm often disappointed by chairs, which is why I, uh, I care about them so much. Chairs look so comfortable. And then when you try them out, they're uh, just not, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> very nice. Yeah, this is very comfortable. Just have to reach over your shoulder, grab a book at random. Oh, Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. And uh, settle in for a nice afternoon. Okay, let's go uh, check out some of the artwork. I probably don't have to make this disclaimer, but I will anyway. I've often said that when I go to these restaurants and try food, I know nothing about food. So I can't speak with any authority about traditional dishes and ingredients and preparation of any food from anywhere in the world. Same thing applies to art. I think a lot of people share my, uh, <laughs> my feelings about that. No expert in art. Um, I think I'm much more of a photograph guy than uh, an art uh, aficionado. I'd like to see photographs of real scenes from around the world. And when you get into art, I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm giving this disclaimer, but thinking back, I go to museums all the time when I was in Taipei. It was a part of my regular weekly routine to go to all the art exhibits every time there was a new exhibit and check things out. So. And in Kuala Lumpur, I did the same. Um, I would track down whatever uh, artwork that I could. So maybe I'm not such a heathen when it comes to art as I think I am. But anyway, that's my disclaimer. Okay. So we have a wall of yeah, traditional country scenes here. And I don't see like a large name for the artist. So I guess we have to look at the little label for each piece to see who the artist is. I don't know if they're grouped or not. Artist was Cha. The title of this one, Waiting for You, Pencil, 1,200 baht. And this one, the artist, yeah, a different artist. Kya Kya Hain, it's a watercolor, uh, 2,500 baht. Ah, you can see the artist uh, name down there. So they aren't grouped by artist, apparently. They're all sort of um, mixed up together.
And this one looks quite different in style. So I imagine this is a different artist as well. This is, hmm, I can't say that. N-G-E, N-G-E is the uh, spelling of the name. And 1,500 baht. And this is acrylic on canvas. And I think those photographs or those paintings over there are probably part of a permanent exhibit because uh, I don't see any labels on them. Perhaps the same for these. And uh, here's the main, uh, the main exhibit room. The lights aren't on right now. Let's see if I can fix that. Plug that in, and now we need a light switch. Aha! Here are some uh, switches. Ah, there we go. Light. Well, these switches, I'm not gonna mess around with those. <laughs> I don't wanna shut down the power for the whole borderline collective. Ah, here's a couple of switches here. There we go. All of the lights are on. Ah, oh, it's very nice up here. I like the space. Wooden flooring, wooden walls. Nice little alcove space over there. And my favorite thing in the whole world, a balcony. Looking out over the busy street of uh, Mesot. Well, let's start over here. This image caught my eye. The children playing. Medium digital art by Sa Atun. 1000 baht. A farmer with his animals. It's interesting that an image like this is actually very familiar to me because in a lot of places that I've visited and I'm walking around with my camera, this is back in previous trips with my uh, picture taking camera, I would often see children staring out at me from inside buildings and they'd always be looking out the window like this. So that's a very familiar image to me. Doesn't say what the uh, medium is for this one. Sa Kyo Wak, 2,500 baht. And there, of course, is a modern image of how we are all still living these days with the masks. The artist here, Neng. Coffee as a medium. Oh, that's interesting. So I guess he made his own kind of watercolor paint out of uh, coffee, I'm guessing though. And a more colorful work by Sean State. Oh, Sean State. I wonder if that is a uh, pseudonym because I don't think anyone has the name Sean State. Oh, kind of like that one actually, because it, it took me by surprise. I it took me a while to notice this. Uh, don't worry, I'm not touching it. The uh, man down here walking along the trail. He's kind of the center of the uh, painting, but you don't see him for a while. You have to look at it until you uh, spot him. And uh, oh. okay, that was Sean State. And I assume this one is also Sean State. Yeah. Very similar style, of course. Ah, and this one has a uh, woman in the foreground following, following her own path forward. I like that. There's a set of three over here. Dancing with the Star by Su San. The medium is acrylic.
This one is by, yes, N-G-E, N-G-E. Ne, ne. It is called Kid with Flower. And of course, this is interesting because she's wearing the traditional uh, Tanaka on her face, a very uh, old tradition in Myanmar. Some lily pads, also by Ne Ne. Another trio over here. By Su Sun. Perform like you're in paradise. It's a, a watercolor. I guess that is a really interesting aspect to art. I'm sure I've thought about it before, but it just occurred to me now. You have the painting and you can look at it, that's one thing. But of course the artist generally chooses a title for it and the title can tell you quite a bit. Um, and you think about how the artist uh, chose the title. And this one is called Simple Life by Saw a Ferv. Saw a, a Ferv? digital art. So does digital mean it was done on a computer? And simple life. What have we got here? This one is called My Chrysanthemums by Susan. Very nice. Oh, to look for more, uh, more lights in here. That didn't work. What about you? Oh, I think are you you're not plugged in. That might be why. Oh, it just took a while. Ah. <laughs> that just gave a little shock. Perhaps this is another example of me going everywhere when it's not actually open. But I assume the gallery is open today. Perhaps I'm opening it by turning on all the lights. Market two, market something, acrylic on canvas by Wanaza. That's very nice too. I like me being me. I do like bright, colorful paintings. And here's another one, perhaps by the same artist. Yeah, no, Wangra. Oh, market one. Yeah, it must be the same person. So this is market one. And this actually does remind me of scenes that I saw in Myanmar, looking down over the markets. It's always interesting because you get the rain awnings and the umbrellas over all the market stalls. So when you get up above it, that's all you see. You just see a field of these umbrellas. When you're down on ground level, of course, you're looking up and you see them above you. But if you climb up into a nearby building, you know, this is, uh, this is the view that you see. Oh, I like this one too. Kind of a black and white and gray, but then with a burst of color along the top. Look at me talking like a real art uh, appreciator. And what is this one called? Colorful Trees, a very literal title. So that's, uh, that's all right. And this is by John Cass, 2000 baht, and it is a uh, watercolor. Portraits are always wonderful too, of course. There's a very interesting portrait called, another literal title, The Old Lady, a pencil drawing by Chow. Got a reflection in it there. Let's move it to the side. You can see it better. Ah, this must be a different artist because it's more of an abstract or is it actually Kind of a river in a canyon, or is it an abstract image? Let's see. Oh, canyon. It's called Canyon One by Greg Tyros, Alcohol Inc. And I see another one further along. I'm sure it will be by the same guy. Wow, that one's really pleasant too. I like that a lot. What is this one called? 
Happy Time with Mum by John Kai. A recent painting made in uh, 2020, 6,500 baht. What is the medium here? Acrylic on canvas. Oh, okay. And there's the... Uh, maybe I like it because it has a bicycle in it. And there's the uh, signature of the artist. And don't worry, I'm being very careful to keep my camera and uh, pudgy fingers away from the art. I haven't touched anything. And this is another, I'm assuming this is another canyon. Mm, it's not canyon, it's called Geo Hybridization 2 by Greg Tyros, Alcohol Inc. Uh, another traditional image lighting uh, one of the lanterns. That was kind of a big part of life in Taiwan when I was there, the uh, lantern festivals. And I had the chance to go see one or two of them in person. It's always a big adventure, often to do with the crowds of people you have to deal with when you go there because they're so popular. And they might be up in the mountains on narrow mountain roads. So just getting there and then getting home again was part of the adventure. This is by Loi Kratong. Oh, no, 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 that's the name of it. Loi Kratong, that probably means, that's probably the name of the festival. And the artist is Sa Atun. It's also a 2020 image. Let's get the reflection out of there, okay. I missed a couple on the wall here, and of course I recognize that famous face instantly as Aung San Suu Kyi. And I assume this is as well. Yes, Aung San Suu Kyi. And they have a lot of these paintings um, available as postcards. And that is really something. Even the one with the children playing and the uh, Lantern Festival. <laughs> yes, that's what a dog is supposed to do. It's supposed to protect you from poisonous snakes. Not supposed to um, constantly attack you as you walk around, as always happens to me. These postcards just gave me an interesting idea. Let me think about it for a minute, and then I'll talk about it when I leave the, um, the art gallery. One more space here inside this other alcove. And let's start over here. And I, I recognize the style right away. More canyon. So this is Canyon 2 by Greg Tyros. And might this be Canyon 3? Canyon 5. I wonder how he got the imagery for this with a drone, perhaps? He might have flown a drone above this uh, canyon and uh, got that image in his mind that way. Beautiful Smile by Cha. Pencil, pencil drawing. And another canyon image. Canyon 4. I can kind of appreciate images like this because in photography, I'm always a big fan of lines leading your eyes somewhere. So whenever I see a photograph of like a, a road with a receding line, you know, going off into the distance, I, I'm always drawn to those images for some reason. So anything with uh, lines like this, I find uh, quite interesting. Another burst of uh, market color. Market two by Wangza. Wangza. There's a little bit larger piece. Yeah, this is another interesting image from my experiences overseas because when you grow up in Canada, you eat bananas all the time, but as a child, of course, you have no idea where bananas come from. 
And when you go to a tropical country for the first time and you see actual bananas in a huge bunch like this and how they grow on banana trees, it comes as a real astonishing moment. You know, like never in my life had I imagined that bananas ever look like this on the tree. And this one is called the uh, banana by Neng. Oh, coffee medium as well. So this one was uh, bananas painted by uh, coffee. That's interesting. Another colorful market scene by Wonaza. Wonaza. And I believe these are our last three items in the exhibit. And I think I know the style. Yes, Sean State. We have the woman, solitary figure, a bit larger, but still in the foreground. But instead of following the trail away from us, she's coming along the trail towards us this time. Hmm. So that would be an interesting trio to put on your wall if you have the other two paintings that I saw. And there they are over there with the man walking away on the trail, a woman walking away on the trail. And then right beside it, you could have this one with a woman looking very positive, actually, and very optimistic, very happy, walking uh, towards us along the same trail. So whatever those people were going away to do, and those images actually looked a little bit, I don't know, not ominous, but maybe a little bit of a sense of an adventure, like where are they going and they're heading towards something. And then on this painting, we see the result. Whatever they wanted to do, they were successful. And now they're coming back, having accomplished whatever it is they wanted to do. So here's a beautiful one too. I like this one a lot. I just have such good feelings about trees in general and of course people on bicycles. And I like those bicycles, they have that, that old fashioned look to them where the wheels used to have far more spokes than they do today. So it looks like a classic old style wheel. But uh, yeah, I just really like the bright colors in this one. Family Cycling in Countryside by John Ichai. Oh, I wonder if, okay. This red dot, does that mean it has been sold? And then the purchaser is Ben? I wonder. I don't know if I've seen any other red dots. I think that's the only one I've seen. And the last work in this exhibit that I'm aware of. It does not have a name, but it's by Sa Kya Kai. I noticed that this uh, painting didn't have an artist listed. And I was curious about that, and then I just noticed that it fell to the ground. So let's see. Oh, it's still sticky, so we can we can put it back. And the artist, or the, yes, yeah, Sa Kya Kai. I mentioned that I thought I could do something special with these postcards, and this is my idea. You can tell me if you think it's a good idea. What I want to do is a little bit of a contest with anyone who happens to watch this video. So I want you to answer a question, leave your answer in the comments, and the first person to get the answer right, I will pin your comment to the top and we can get in touch. And if you send me your mailing address privately, of course, I will send you one of these postcards in the mail. And I will give you a choice of two different postcards. I'll find out whether I can even buy them. I assume I can. And I'm going to buy two of them. And I think, to keep it personal, I will get this one. 
which is my dream for all the dogs to stop attacking me and start helping me. And this picture, this bright, colorful one of the uh, children playing. All of these postcards, by the way, are done by the same artist. These are all done by Sa Atun. And he has, uh, he has copies of his art online at Instagram and Facebook. And um, I'll put uh, links to that in the description below. So these two postcards. And if you get the answer to my question, if you're the first person to get the answer to my question right, I will send you your choice of one of these cards in the mail. And what is the question? Here's the question. I am going to do something special here in Mesot this week. What am I going to do? What special thing do you think I'm going to do here in Mesot this week? And I'll give you a hint. I have not done it before. This is going to be a brand new thing. So what am I going to do? Put your answer down in the comments. And if you are the first person to get it right, we can uh, exchange information. And if you're interested, I will send you one of these postcards from uh, Thailand. The exhibit is now closed. I'm just leaving borderline, and just as a last reminder about this art exhibition and when it opens and closes. There are the dates there. It opened on uh, December 12th and it closes December 19th. So I'll try to post this video as quickly as possible and anyone in Mesot anyway can come uh, check out the exhibit before it closes. And you can relax upstairs in a chair and uh, read a book for a while. And after you check out the exhibit, you can head back to the tea garden and enjoy a cold drink or hot drink or anything that uh, you like. And that's it up there, by the way. This is the uh, balcony for the art gallery up upstairs. Yeah, it's a very nice building. I like this place a lot. And they're quite lucky to have this uh, tree still growing in front of it. Makes for a very nice setting. I don't know if the rules of the postcard contests are clear, so I'll go over them one more time. The idea is that this week I'm going to do something new in Mesot, something I've never done here before. It's going to be a brand new experience. And if you think you know what I'm going to do, give your answer in a comment below. And if you are the first person to give the right answer, I will send you one of these postcards from Thailand from one of the artists at that exhibit. Of course, you would have to, we would have to get in touch in a private uh, forum, and then you can give me the address to send the uh, postcard to. So that's it. <laughs> the first official comment contest uh, for this uh, YouTube channel. <laughs>